The, the moderator, he asked them, he said, uh, do you have anything to say to Bivol? And Better Beer said he knows. Excuse me? He said, he said, what? Excuse me, what? <laughs> What's the message you want to get to him? He said, trust me, he knows already. What? What? Do you have a message for Dimitri Bivol now that he's here? He know already. I don't know already. <laughs> I don't even know where you're sitting at. Like. <laughs> From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTAG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Thank you, man. Y'all know what it is. Yes, sir. Yes, man. The doctor's in the house. Y'all know what time it is. Okay, so look. Check me out. So we had the... Look, 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 look at my bed. Chase, look at Y'all see him? Y'all get him? Y'all saw him? I don't know if they got him, but they're chasing a lizard. It was a big old fat lizard, too. You know, we down here in Florida. But yo, so, um... What is that? Okay, but yeah, my bad. All right, let's get right to it, man. So today we had the uh, the, 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 the first official uh, press conference for Dimitri Bivol and Arthur Bedebiev, right? <laughs> and y'all know, to me, in my opinion, you know, those who pay attention to the channel, I think that this is the, this is the biggest fight in boxing um, of, uh, uh, of, of recent memory, you know what I'm saying? I think that this is the biggest fight that can be made in boxing, with the second biggest being uh, Canelo and Benavidez. And I'll say that the third biggest probably some combination of Tank, Shakur, and Haney. You know what I'm saying? That's just my, and, and Teofimo too. I'll throw Teofimo in there as well. That's just my opinion on that. But, um, so this fight, we actually have an official date on it, which we already knew, you know what I'm saying? June 1st in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. But, however, you know what I was very uncertain of is um, my prediction, you know? Like, I told you all the time, man, I'd be flip-flopping, but I'd be flip-flopping. One day, you ask me, I say, man, I feel like better be up today. You ask me another day, I mean, I feel like Bivol might win today. What set are you repping? Sorry? What set are you repping? I'm not repping any set. So I really think it's a 50-50 fight. I don't know if it'll play out that way inside the ring, but man, after watching this press conference, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really think the press conference will say much, but the fact that Archer better be have literally didn't say much, <laughs> said a lot. Like, I, it was at one point where they asked him, the, the moderator, he asked them, he said, uh, do you have anything to say to Bivol? And Better Be have said he knows. Excuse me? He said, he said, what? Excuse me, what? <laughs> What's the message you want to get to him? He said, trust me, he knows already. What? What? Do you have a message for Dimitri Bivol now that he's here? He knows already. Dimitri, uh, Arthur yeah. Baterbiev says that you know already. What is it that you know? Not like this. I don't know already. <laughs> I don't even know where you're sitting at. Like. <laughs> you know, you know. I, sh I tell you, no. For sure. <laughs> And Bivol, Bivol answered, you know, he, he, was, he, he was funny as well, man. He said, I don't know. He said, I don't know what he's talking about. But somebody knows something, man. Like, I, I hate to make, I don't want to overuse this comparison, you know. Um, but I will have to use it, man. He reminded, it gave me Drago vibes, man. If he dies, he dies. He's like, if he dies, he dies. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Arthur, be a, better be, Arthur better be if you just see very stone cold. He just sees ready and like he knows what's gonna happen already like it's already written on the wall so this makes me feel like i don't think that they sparred i'm not gonna say they sparred but i want to say that at the very least maybe the, what better be of is uh is um hinting that that that, that bivol knows is that maybe that bivol didn't really want the fight it's just that saudi arabia and turkey al sheik offered such an exorbitant exorbitant ridiculous large quantity of money that he couldn't refuse maybe that's what it is maybe bivol is actually lying because better be if i said that before he said man he doesn't really want to fight he just be saying that why the fuck you lying why you always lying 
So maybe he better be able to tell the truth. And Bivol didn't really want to fight as much as he put on. You know, I, I believe I believe that Bivol wants to fight. You know, but you know, I'm I'm not in the I'm not in the back room negotiating. You know, meetings and all that stuff. So I don't know, man. And and back to the sparring, it could mean that maybe you know they grew up in the same circuit and maybe they have some familiarity with each other inside that square circle. You know, or which is another possibility, they could have similar sparring partners. You know, um, we know Lonnie B sparred with them and De Defear sparred with them. And, you know, they have some people, Adam Azim sparred with them, um, spar spar with them. Maybe they have some uh, similarities to sparring partners and, you know, they feel like, hey, man, maybe better be of those that some of their sparring partners handled Bivol or, di or did wear very well against Bivol and, and better be have packed them up. You know your fucking place, trash. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I will say this. After this press conference, man, you asked me today, right now, how I'm feeling. I got better be at by like fifth, five or six round knockout, man. I ain't gonna lie, that's how I feel right now. Now, later on tonight, after I after I sleep on it and I go back and watch some Bivol fights and I remember why I'm, I think this fight is a true 50-50, then I might be like, okay, man, you know, I'm leaning towards Bivol to outbox him for the duration of 12 rounds. Um, because I will say this, you know, as far as competition goes, Bivol has a better competition on his on, on his record, you know what I'm saying? He's been in the ring with a better opposition. Um, not by much, but, you know, it says a lot to be in there with, with Canelo. Canelo's a tough cookie. Even though he was moving up, he's still, it's still Canelo, you know what I'm saying? Pound for pound, great. But then again, too, Archer Bredebiev, who he, he has made some people look pretty mediocre. Like, I, I'm really big on Callum Smith. I think Callum Smith is very good, and Bredebiev got him out of there. You know, it was a small ring, and it, and it, and it catered towards Bredebiev's style, but still, he, he got the job done, and he has a 100% knockout rate, you know, so... I don't know, man. We'll see, man. I thought this press conference was entertaining, and I knew better be able to give me something, and he definitely did, man. <laughs> Ask him. He knows. He know already. He does. He does. <laughs> All right, man. Y'all be easy, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always, man. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. Y'all be easy. God bless. Peace. I can't wait for this fight, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. Doctor is out. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.